Hello, one common question that we get is, should my iOS app be free or should it be paid? Obviously, there's no one blanket answer to this question, but if we take a look at what the top apps in each category are doing, we can get a better idea of how you should price your app. In this graph, we're showing the top 100 apps in each of the Apple App Store categories and how, are they, how they're pricing their app. Uh, the blue bars represent apps that are free. Um, they may be monetizing through an indirect means such as ads or direct product purchases, but we have no way of telling. So we're just going to leave it as a, a totally free app. Uh, one good example would be Amazon, where their app is free, but you buy products through their app. The second category is free with in-app purchases, and this means that they're using Apple's in-app purchase system. So this we can track, and that's why we've shown it on the graph here. The orange bars represent paid with in-app in purchases, so the developers are getting uh, some money on the front end and on the back end. And the red bars represent paid only apps. So if we look over the graph, there are certain categories that definitely lend themselves to free apps. For example, the newsstand category, the top 100 apps in that category, um, the vast majority of them monetize through in-app purchases with a free app. So if you want to be successful in that category, you're going to have to uh, create a free app. Uh, a similar picture with other categories such as entertainment, games, lifestyle, news, and social networking. Uh, a very small portion of these apps do charge um, up front, but a vast majority of them are free or uh, free with in-app purchases. So if you're in that category, you should definitely uh, look at doing that. And again, this also depends on your business model and what your app offers. So. Uh, be sure to dig a little deeper into these categories and make sure you're, you're matching um, apples with apples. On the other end of the spectrum, there are other apps such as the weather app, I mean the weather category and the navigation category, and even the business category where people are more willing to pay for an app up front. And as we can see in the navigation category, people are definitely willing to pay for the app up front and pay for some... Um, some other things down the line. So your app pricing is definitely going to depend on what category you're in. So if you want to see more data on these categories, check out the Sensor Tower leaderboard at sensortower.com forward slash leaderboard. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.